Hey everyone and welcome to yet another video of 2 minutes Tuesday. So in today's video we are going to see how we can use our GDEV node inside Nuke to control the bokeh effect. Also we are going to fix any kind of artifacts is coming inside our GDEV. We are going to fix it. So without any delay, let's hit the timer. Okay. As you can see over here, I have my uh, file set up and firstly, we are going to see how we can control the bokeh effect or shape of bokeh. So already I have made multiple videos on GDU focus. You can go and you can check those videos as well. So here I have my foreground here. I have my background and what I did, I shuffled my G depth and yes, I graded as per my requirement and I added few nodes over here, which I'm going to talk about later and I copied uh, that data again inside my G depth, right? So here, what I did in this uh, bokeh effect or in this G defocus already I'm seeing I'm getting a good amount of bokeh. So let's control that. So by default, it will be on disk, right? So what will happen? Your bokeh will be in the form of disk, right? So I'm going to increase my uh, blur size or defocus size. So as you can see, each and every book I am getting in the shape of disk. So if you want to control or if you want to change it, you can just go and you can change to bladed. What will happen? Your suddenly you can see your bokeh is getting sides, right? I can control that side particular side. So I can do five or four or three as per your requirement. So you can do it by default. I'm going to do it seven or might be aspect ratio. You can change it. So if you are having any sort of two is to one ratio, you can do it as well. Roundness, you can change rotation. You can change as per your requirement. Another way of controlling a uh, bokeh shape is if you have any image of uh, bokeh or any uh, shape of bokeh you have, you are having just, you need to control to your filter and in GD focus, you can go over here and you can choose image. So what will happen on the basis of that particular image, your defocus is going to work, right? So as you can see, I have focus on this, but as per my uh, image, my bokeh is generating or forming, right? So these are the three way to control your uh, shape of bokeh. And again, as I told you earlier, if you're facing any kind of artifacts, how we can fix it, mostly what happens whenever you are uh, shuffling our grade, what happens in GD focus, you can see you have jaggy edges. Don't worry, this is pretty normal. You don't want to NTLize your GD focus because what happens in uh, GD focus or depth, especially, Anything white will be closer to camera. Anything black will be far away from camera. If any gray is coming, then GD focus node couldn't uh, recognize. Is it closer to camera or it is uh, away from the camera and then artifacts came. So if any such kind of artifacts is coming, so what you need to do, just you need to use a clamp after your grade node and just use color edge. It's a node uh, available on Newpedia. If not, then I'll definitely uh, give link to uh, this video. So you can use color smear, color smear, what exactly col color smear is doing on the basis of my alpha on the basis of my alpha and I'm using alpha from my uh, beauty pass and on the basis of that alpha, it's extending my edges. Can you see that? So simply by extending your edge, you can fix your artifacts and might be you need to blur grain should be zero. And if you want, you can increase or decrease grow as per a requirement. So what will happen? You're automatically or any kind of artifact is going to fix, right? So if you want to focus this structure, you can do it. If you want to focus this structure, you can do it. If you want to focus this structure, you can do it. So I hope this two minutes Tuesday video will help you to understand how to control your shape of bokeh or any kind of artifacts is coming, how you can fix that artifacts as well. And if you think that this video is helping you, please don't forget to like this video, share this video. And if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. With this said, this is Wayfix Vibe signing off. Have a good day.